Hello my friends. Here is a tutorial on two little neat contraptions that I have built. First one, say there's a creeper coming your way and you're like, oh crap. Right click on this block, lets you in. When that resets, this door, you probably be ready and then you can go out and fight the creeper or you can run through this door and leave through another exit through your base. Second one over here is another neat little contraption. This is a wireless redstone. All credit goes to another person. I'll link his video in the description. But virtually, well, exactly what happens. As you can see, this is like from the Hunger Games map. Um, except just let me get rid of that. You've got those little podiums hmm don't know why I did that but anyway so you come up here as you can see it's down right now I look at that that turns not right clicking or anything and that's pretty cool so anyway, if you can see from over there, that little repeater just in the corner of the screen is on. I look at the piston head and it turns off. I look away, it turns on. So anyway, let's get into building. For the first contraption I showed you, you'll need Silk Touch Enchantment, which you can get by enchanting your pickaxes you can get things like fortune 2, fortune 3 but silk touch you'll need that one so you can see we have redstone ore for any of you that think this is a hack then how about you try it for yourself that'll be fortune 2 and that's fortune 3 oh yeah it's really neat it lets you get more things from ores and all that Silk Touch, you used to be able to get ice and mob spawners, but they got rid of that. So anyway, I'll be right back with all the materials we need. Okay, I'm back. So, let's on the first contraption. What you'll need is you'll need your redstone ore block. Place it here, but if you want, you can place it wherever you want. Place that. Now, place a block there. Dig out a hole here, put something like dirt or iron. I'm using iron for the sake of iron because I love iron, it's awesome. Put two blocks like that, facing exactly like that, so you can report a report here. I wondered so many times why this was not working, and then I realized that the block it was facing like this, and that was making it not work. I'm not sure why, it just doesn't. So I'm going to get your redstone, string it around like that. So now when you right click on it, that piston will extend. And when this block stops that, it will actually toggle back and the piston will move. Okay. Now get out your iron doors. You could use wooden doors, but I really don't see the point. This could be like for a PvP map or something. Place one here and one here. You should enclose this in some sort of area. So let's just get some planks. It's not necessary, but if this is going to be for a PvP thing, you might want to enclose it in obsidian or something, so someone might just easily break through and steal all your stuff. Uh, why can't I place a block there? Oh yeah. For some reason, all right-click actions are disabled when you're looking at an iron door. So anyway, let's take everything there. As you can see, that just deactivated. That has stopped spewing out that stuff and this just turned back okay so now what we want to do is you want to pull resident signal out from there place one 
of those there. Hmm, why is it doing that? Oh, yes. I think I made a mistake there. You need to string the redstone around like that. Now, this door will stay open and this door will stay closed. Which is exactly what we want. Oh, we're experiencing a lot of lag there. Okay, so doors on that block. And torch here. Torch here. Like that. Except in this case, that's not going to work. I did it reverse the other time. So now that door's closed. This will be like an exit to your base or something. So when you're in here, creep coming. Let's just spawn a creeper. I'm on peaceful always in my testing world, so creepers don't blow up my stuff. Um. Oh crud, creeper's coming. Oh, that didn't quite work. Anyway, you get what I mean. I hope. And you can walk through here, or your base could be like, that could be an old exit, and this could be your entire base here. And when that resets, you just walk out. Yeah, I'll get the resources ready for the next project. Unexperienced. Okay, I'm back. So, let's get started. You'll need, I just need an extra sticky piston and an extra lever. So, what you'll need for this is you'll need a bow, lots of arrows, two levers, nine redstone, five repeaters, two sticky pistons, one fence, one pressure plate, wooden, and four blocks of whatever. But if you want to make a case around it, then, well, you'll need more. So, place a sticky piston there. Place a block there, and that there, using my awesome efficiency 4 pick, I mine through everything so much faster. Place a block here, place one of the repeaters here. Now, make a little timer. Okay, so, that, that, that. Right click it two times. Except for this one. Right click that once. Not sure if I'm following it correctly. I think I am. Now place your redstone over here. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is place blocks like that. It's a stupid idea to destroy that block because you need to place a block there. So then you place two blocks here. You get a lever here and that will activate the timer, place your piston there, place a the lever there. Now, to do this properly, take some skill, which I have none of at the moment. I think that'll do. No, that will not do. You need to get this in exactly the right position. Oh, damn it. Hmm, that didn't quite work either. Oh, I keep picking up the arrows. Hmm. It needs to, the arrow needs to be able to activate this pressure plate, which is two and a half blocks off the ground. This is very hard to get perfect, so I'm just going to go into creative. Let's hope that worked. Yes. Now, you might need to adjust your tick settings, so move that back to one. That needs to stay on continuously. Okay, so now that we've got that, right click this lever here. Now when you look at that, the arrow falls down 
and won't get pushed up by the piston. When you look away, the arrow starts getting pushed up. And that is what I used. I thought that would be pretty cool for the Hunger Games map because the game maker looks at that and then that might set off a T flip flop and, well, put up all the podium things or you could use it for a bunch of neat things. You could have it buried behind a dirt wall or you could have a wall of sticky pistons. I don't know if it works with normal pistons. I might try that. I'll be right back to see if it works. Okay, I'm back. I managed to just get it right. So let's see what happens. Yes, it, this glitch will work with sticky pistons and regular pistons. Which means you could have a big wall of regular pistons like so. Let's just move this lever. You could have a big wall of regular pistons as regular pistons look rather nice if you have a texture pack. See that looks pretty good and you have no idea which one is which. So if you just get another redstone wire you can lead it out around to see if the little light message of anything is on. Something. There's a lot of uses for this. So see it's on right now. I look at that. It turns off. On. Off. On. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, favorite, rate, comment, subscribe. See ya.